Hi, welcome back to the Kinesiology and Personal Training playlist. I'm Kevin Tokoff, and make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to learn and understand how to calculate the ideal body weight. Now, the concept behind this is that um, as someone is gets taller and taller, so you compare someone who's 5'6 to someone who's 5'8 to someone who's you know higher and higher in height, the person should theoretically weigh more, okay? And this calculation is based on data, and since it's based on data, it's based on averages for healthy individuals, okay? Now, the first question in your mind is this. Well, I know, I know two people, two guys, who are six feet tall, right? One of them's a stockier build, really strong, right? And he's a he's a really healthy guy. The other guy's also six feet tall, but he's more on the really thin, you know, has a fast metabolism, kind of skinny, you know, doesn't have a lot of muscle, but also doesn't have a lot of fat, and he's also healthy, right? And that is true. You can have two people of the exact same height, and they can have very different body types, which in a way makes this calculation a little bit flawed, but what they've done is they've taken averages of all healthy people of that particular height, and they average together, and they plot the points to get ultimately what's this function right here. Okay. Now, the ideal body weight is obviously going to differ between men and women. Okay, as we know, men tend to have more muscle mass than women, and so as a result of that, the averages state that men have a higher weight on average than women of the same height. And so we have these two different formulas to deal with each sex. So for men, here's how you calculate the ideal body weight. You start off with an automatic 50 kilograms, okay? And then you have to add on this correction factor. Let me explain this, okay? What you're going to do, essentially, is you're going to add 2.3 kilograms per every inch after 5 feet tall, okay? So if the person was exactly 5 feet tall, okay, then you wouldn't add on anything. It would just be 50 kilograms, okay? If the person is 6 feet tall, well, that's 1 foot bigger than 5 feet, right? And a foot is 12 inches, so you'd have to add on 2.3 12 times. Okay, so it's 2.3 kilograms for every inch. So we can generalize this to this formula right here. And so we're looking at all the inches past 5 feet. Well, how many inches is 5 feet? Well, 5 feet is 12 inches per foot times 5 feet. So 5 feet is actually 60 inches. Okay, so if the person is, say, 65 inches, that's 5 inches in excess of 60, so you're going to have to add on 2.3 five times, okay? And this correction factor, notice, is the same for both men and women, okay? What differs is the initial amount, 50 kilograms for men, automatically 45.5 kilograms for women. But the second component is the same. So if we want to generalize this to every single inch past 60 inches, or 5 feet, we're going to take this 2.3 kilograms per inch and multiply times the height minus 60 inches, where this height right here is going to be in units of inches. Okay, So we're going to look at a couple of examples, one for a man, one for a woman, and hopefully get an idea how to calculate the ideal body weight. So for the ideal body weight of a man who's six foot two, the very first thing we need to do is calculate how many inches this guy is in terms of his height. So if we have six feet plus two inches, how many inches is six feet? Well, I can do some dimensional analysis. Six feet, and then I have the conversion vector, one foot is 12 inches, okay? So this ultimately amounts to, when the feet cancel, six times 12 is actually 72 inches. But we have to add on the two inches which makes this for a total of 74 inches. All right, I'm going to have to get my calculator in just a minute. All right, that's 74 inches. So if we want to figure out this man's ideal body weight, um, let's apply this formula. So the formula states that I'm going to take this, so his ideal body weight, is going to be equal to 50 kilograms plus, and I'm going to have this 2.3 kilograms per inch, Oops, I'm going to have 2.3 kilograms per inch 
times every inch in excess of five feet, which is 60 inches. So I'm going to put this 74 inches in right there, 74 inches minus 60 inches. Okay. If you were to actually subtract this, um, this take the difference of these two numbers, I can see very quickly that that's actually 14 inches right there. So let me go ahead and calculate this. So let's take 2.3, and that's kilograms per inch, times 74 minus 60, 74 minus 60, which we already said was 14, and I'm getting 32.2, but then I have to add on 50 kilograms, okay? So it turns out that the ideal body weight for this person is going to be 82.2 kilograms. Now, obviously, this formula, notice, okay, it says weight, so technically there's a little bit of an inconsistency because that's a mass, but if you wanted to find the actual weight in pounds, all you would do is take that 82.2 and multiply by 2.2, which is the conversion factor, and so that means that the average or the ideal body weight for an individual who's 6'2 is going to be 180.84 pounds, which I'm going to approximate to about 181 pounds. Okay, so that's the ideal body weight. Now, again, somebody who's 6'2 could be lighter than that and they could still be healthy, and someone who's 6'2 could be a very muscular, muscle bound, be heavier, and still be healthy. Okay, so again, this ideal body weight is just to show you um, how much the person is under or in excess of this average. Okay, this is basically like a national average. Okay, and again, there are cases where it is extremely flawed. Okay, let's look at the example for a woman. Okay, in this case, we're going to have a slightly different formula because of this sort of constant out in front. Okay, so here's the woman's height, five foot six. All right. So let's do this in light blue, maybe. So this person is five feet plus six inches, all right? So how many inches is five feet? Well, we have five feet, and then one foot is going to be 12 inches. So this person, at least the five feet component, is going to be 60 inches, but then we have to throw in that extra six inches to give a total of 66 inches, all right? And that's actually the number that will go in here for this H right there. Now what we can do is apply the formula. Let's go ahead and do that. So the ideal body weight for this particular woman, who's 5'6", we're going to take this initial constant, but notice it's no longer 50, it's 45.5. So this is 45.5 kilograms plus, okay, this multiplier out in front, 2.3 kilograms per inch is the same, 2.3 kilograms per inch. All right, then we're going to multiply it times every inch in excess of 5 feet or 60 inches. So H minus 60, H is 66. This is going to be 66 inches minus 60 inches. And I can very quickly see that this difference inside the parentheses is actually going to go to 6 inches. Okay, and so let me go ahead and actually calculate what this is. So I'm going to calculate the ideal body weight for this female. I'm going to take this 2.3 kilograms per inch and multiply by 6, and then add on to it 45.5 kilograms. And the number that I'm getting is 59.3 kilograms. All right, that's technically a mass. Again, there's an inconsistency here, but it's just called ideal body weight. But I can very easily convert that kilograms into weight in pounds. All I'm going to do is take the kilograms and multiply by 2.2. And what I'm getting is that this weight is 130.46. And I'm just going to essentially round this. I'm going to round it down to 130 pounds. So that's the ideal body weight for a woman, okay, who is five foot six. Now, there's one important thing about this formula that I must uh, um, tell you up here. So this formula is, of course, um, it, has, it has significant error when you compare this to many individuals who are healthy. But the other problem with this formula is that it only works for individuals who are at least five feet, okay? Now, in most cases, most individuals are at least five feet, 
Okay. However, there are some individuals who are less than five feet. Okay. Um, for instance, kids are oftentimes less than five feet, and there are some adults who are less than five feet. Okay. Now, you might say, well, if someone's four foot ten, then we'll just convert four foot ten to inches and plug that in for h. And that would not be what you do. Okay, it turns out that when the individual is actually less than five feet tall, four foot eleven, four foot ten, and so forth down, these two formulas are actually no longer valid. You're actually going to require um, different formulas, and I'm not going to necessarily do that immediately in a new video, um, but we'll put up that video eventually because suffice it to say, it's not it's not really. Um, um, that common to use that and in any case the ideal body weight calculation is not really something that's used a whole lot anyways and the reason for that is because there's great um, genetic differences between different individuals if you have two individuals one person who's maybe a tennis player and five feet ten then you have a professional football player who's five foot ten maybe a running back okay they're both going to be you know fit people, but they're going to have a great difference in their actual body weight, and they're probably going to deviate pretty significantly from the ideal weight. So overall, this is not something that you would necessarily use. And the other reason that it wouldn't be something you would use is if you have somebody who's a little bit heavier in the ideal body weight, telling them that the ideal body weight for them is actually lower, or sometimes quite a bit lower than they are, it can be something that can be emotionally detrimental and psychologically to the individual. This is something, therefore, you could potentially do by yourself, but not necessarily something you share with the individual because of differences in body types. Okay, A much better thing to do, at least for shooting for goals, is to um, calculate or a measure body fat percentage. And in another video, we'll talk about how you can calculate how much fat you need to lose um, in terms of weight to get to a lower body fat percentage and so forth. That's gonna be the topic of a separate video, but I hope this gave you a little bit of um, understanding of how to calculate ideal body weight. And you can even go on Google and look up tables of this, and the tables are gonna be based on these two, for, uh, these two equations right here. So hope that helped. Um, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to it, and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.